Hi beautiful soul, this is Karina at KarinaLadette.com. Um, I hope you're having a good day. Um, today um, I want to address a question that I receive a lot, uh, both by email or when I do my readings or coaching sessions with you, and that is, what is my purpose? So it can feel like a really big question, and I know for a lot of you, it feels like that one thing you should be doing, um, but sometimes it can feel a bit like it's it's um, slipping away from you or that you're not on track because you haven't found it and you're not living it. So um, I want to suggest uh, three things that really help um, me whenever I lose track of my own purpose or uh, that have really helped my clients in the past as well. So number one is what brings you joy? What feels exciting? Um, if you get to choose to do one thing right now that really lights you up and inspires you and just feels like fun, uh, what would that be? And so I really encourage you to not overthink it because it's not because you want to sign up for a pottery class or because you want to paint that you need to figure out how to take it from where you are now to making a career out of it. It's just about um, really getting that kind of creative and fun energy flowing within you. And sometimes what you end up doing, um, what, what calls you and what feels joyful is not what you'll actually be doing as your purpose, but it will bring you there. So sometimes it's just about connecting with that energy and that will carry you to the next step. And sometimes it will. So just kind of go with that flow and don't analyze it and don't uh, think too much about it. So, and it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be time consuming. Um, if you want to, to paint, for example, you can sign up for a class. You can uh, get a bunch of paint and uh, lots of really nice paper and do it at home. You can get together with friends. Um, the possibilities are infinite. So just go with whatever comes easily to you. I'm a really big fan of making things easy and simple and actually do them. Um, so that's for my first tip. And the second one is, um, what is something that you always enjoyed as a child? Because sometimes we really connect with whatever we're here to do as children. And then when we grow up, we kind of forget or we think it's not a priority or, well, we learn that it's not so important, right? To be a responsible adult. So I really encourage you to kind of travel back in time to remember what you really enjoyed as a child. So whether that was reading tons of books, um, helping friends out, going for long walks, uh, creating things with your hands, or whatever it was, uh, find a way to do that now in your adult life. And again, make it easy and, uh, and do things that feel joyful. And so, and if you need support, maybe get together with a bunch of friends or just a couple of people you know and like and do it together. Sometimes that really helps to have that kind of play date, maybe once a week or once a month or whatever fits you. So go back to that time and remember what you, you as a child loved doing. So that was number two. And the third one was, what do you already do now? Because often our purpose is something we're already doing. It's just that we don't always uh, think of it as a skill because it comes so naturally to us and it feels easy and it just, just seems to be in our genes somehow. So take a, um, a look at what it is you do right now and then just bring out those skills or those um, uh, passions that you already uh, use in your life and then see how you can take them a step further. So maybe you're someone who loves uh, cooking uh, and you're always um, you're always bringing people home and you cook for them and you create really beautiful bakery or or lovely meals. Just see how connect with that um, the energy of that passion and how you feel when you do these things and then see how you can take them one step further if that is what you want. I think it's 
perfectly fine to have a normal job and to just do what you're passionate about in your in your spare time. You don't have to. Uh, it doesn't have to be all or nothing. Uh, I think we can have both. So one of my favorite expressions is cheese and dessert. Because, um, well, I live in France, and normally you, you choose, right? Uh, you have your nice meal, and then you either have some cheese or you have dessert. And um, although I'm not a big fan of cheese, I love the idea of having both, right? So just because you find what your purpose is doesn't mean you have to do it full time. It doesn't have to bring you money. Uh, it doesn't have to be your one thing, that one and only thing. But connecting with it and knowing what it is, or just acknowledging what it is, because chances are you already know what's been pulling at you or what you do naturally. So yeah, so kind of dig where you stand. Um, I'm sure there are things you do or qualities that you embody every day. Maybe you're really good at taking care of other people. Um, maybe you're good at creating really beautiful environments. So be really, uh, yeah, go, go for like a kind of like a treasure hunt within you to see what you're good at. And if you have a hard time finding what you're, you're good at and, and what other people enjoy about you, ask your best friends or people who really love you and ask them what they think that you're good at uh, or your best qualities. Yeah, that can be a, a bit uncomfortable, but really valuable in this process. And then I encourage you to just play with this and see where it takes you. Uh, because this is a journey, so you don't have to figure it out right now. And you have all the time, you have this whole life to figure it out. Um, yeah, and then and then be, be happy uh, with where you are right now and accept where you are right now. And then figure out the next steps. And you don't have to know what all the steps are going to be from here to where you want to go when you have found your life purpose but maybe just being happy and, and grateful for where, for where you are right now and then figuring out the next step and then you can figure out the next step that's kind of how I've been building my life and my business um, I have no idea where I'm going to be in five years or ten years and that's okay I have a big vision but I don't have all the details yet and I really enjoy that because that means that I can create my next step regularly and I don't have to feel like it's all set in stone because I don't I don't think it is so so these are my tips for today and thank you to everyone who has asked this question because it's a really good one so have a beautiful day and take care bye